Gamil Magal checks in on his workers after the Brexit shock. I was really disappointed, very sad. And my first thought go, what will be now? Generally, I don't think we really understand what's going to happen. Magal Engineering produces parts for the auto industry, everything from flow regulators to parking brakes. Many of the workers at its two British plants come from Eastern Europe. Now they fear for their jobs. And when I read the uh, news on Friday morning, I just stopped crying. And my, my, my uh, boyfriend, he's a British citizen. Okay. And, Why are you crying? I don't know. Gamil Magal wants to keep employing people in the UK, but his clients are mainly in the EU. As soon as we know something, we'll let you know as well, like I did on, fr on a Friday before. But, yeah, uh, so, but you know you don't need to wor be worried yeah. from our I'm, point of view. Yeah. He tries to sound confident and comfort his workers, but the decision is not his alone. It also depends on the deal Britain negotiates with the EU and his customers' wishes. If the customer will put pressure on us uh, to move something, we will have to do it. I hope they won't. Uh, and I hope that we can get the, the right deal for the UK as well as the rest of Europe, that we can keep uh, movement of labour and, and goods. But what if that doesn't happen? The British people are worried, and not just the bankers in London. Brexit means changing conditions and uncertainty for many industries, not least because the negotiations on access to the European single market could take years. In terms of jobless rates, there's something like three million jobs in the UK that are either directly or indirectly reliant on our export to the EU. So all of those are obviously at risk. He expects conditions to worsen for those who manage to stay employed, and good jobs will be harder to come by. Those will be replaced by jobs that are much less secure. They may be in zero-hours contracts. Uh, there's likely to be lower pay. Um, and so the, sort of the quality of overall employment would suffer. Tourism is one of the few industries that could profit from Brexit. The pound's loss in value after the referendum is making London more attractive to foreign tourists. Taxi drivers are hopeful. If foreigners are getting a better rate of exchange, they're more likely to come to Britain. So maybe it, that could work in our favour. A plus point for London cabbies, perhaps. But many other British workers could be heading towards a pretty bleak future.